Okay, so to create some 3D text, um, I'm going to take this text that I warped earlier and I am now going to just click on it, make sure I have it selected, and I'm going to go up to Effect and I'm going to click 3D and then Extrude and Bevel. So you can click the Preview button and it'll show you kind of what's happening here. So this is pretty cool. You can play a lot with the, the um, different settings here to get sort of the direction of the um, 3D that you want. Um, you can make the depth of the bevel, the extrusion, deeper, so you get like a bigger, more bold, or less if you want. So you can play around with all of those settings. Um, you can also play, um, and then if you want a different color here, you click on more options, and down here it says shading color, and I can click, click and get a custom color. So red is the default right now, but I can pick, let's say I wanted a nice bright yellow, now something you might notice is that right away it doesn't look that bright yellow. Um, it has to do with how it's being shaded. So there's definitely things you can play around with here. Um, one of the things you can play around with is the ambient light. If you turn this down, you'll see the color become more true to the color that you selected. It's not going to look as um, authentically 3D, but it'll look, it'll have its own kind of stylized effect, so that's, that'll still work out. Um, you can also change the light intensity overall. I kind of like it like that though. Um, highlight intensity, these are all things you can play with to, to kind of get the effect that you want. I would play with all of them. Um, and then when you have an effect that you really like, you're going to just hit OK. And now you are on your way right now to having some very authentic uh, superhero comic book style text here. Um, at this point, you know, I could bring my layer with my artwork above my title. You can see in Superman he does that. Now it just depends on how well known the title is. Um, I might need to actually scale my my artwork down just a little bit so that I can make some more space for the text at the top here. And I think I'm going to scale up his the whole thing. I'm holding shift and I'm dragging from the corner and that actually scales up the text too. So um, I've got a lot of tools at my disposal and if I don't want to move the artwork by accident I'm going to have to lock the layer. I'm definitely liking this. This is looking pretty good for me. Um, and so that that's a couple of the effects that you can do. Um, in the final tutorial, I'll just show you some more simple things. I want to go over like all the different content that you might include on your cover.